kids and welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. I'm not sure what the title says down below, but I'm sure it has something to do with good old Red Lake. I'm also not sure if you guys have been following along with the videos, but as you could maybe see, I am actually driving across Lake of the Woods right now. If you guys missed like last video or the video before, um, we just got done camping on Lake of the Woods for the past three days and yeah, I'm leaving the lake now and I'm heading to another lake. Anyways y'all, the fishing has been a little tough lately, but I'm hoping we will be able to harvest some walleyes in this video and hopefully cook them up. I got about an hour drive only, uh, probably like an hour and a half, two hours because I'm still half an hour on Lake of the Woods. Well, anyways, stay tuned y'all. We will probably just see it once we get to JR's. This is pretty cool, y'all. I'm not sure if, once again, you've seen last video, but I'm still on Lake of the Woods right now. I am crossing land. This is like some type of an island. And now I'm back on uh, the big bay right at the mouth of the Rainy River. I'm not sure what it's called for sure. Anyways, pretty cool. You drive all the way across this bay, then you drive on this land, and then you drive back out onto the lake. And Beverly Hills for covered in cream. Dark have officially made it to land. Next stop, dollar store. I forgot about that. Got all the essentials. Just need bread. And we're gonna be dialed. Tell you what, it feels weird driving through Baudette in the winter. Usually, I'm only here during like July. <laughs> We have made it to Red Lake. Check it out. I still got like 20 minute drive though. Awesome drive so far. You know, the, the, the tunes have really been just doing it this morning. We have made it. I passed the sign. Oopsies. Wasn't fast enough. got a nice warm shower we got a nice burger in our tummy and yeah dudes we are just now getting on the ice road stay tuned i think i have a like five to ten mile drive across this lake we will see you guys at the fish house oh my god it is so cold out this is home for the next two nights, I believe. We're out here for two nights. As you can see, these fish houses are freaking perfect for filming. Just a big, wide open area. We got two bunks here, two bunks here. We got the heater here. We got the stove top right here. Hole, 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 hole. I already pretty much covered all of them because I don't want to fall in them. I'm going to be fishing from this bunk here and sleeping and hanging out and fishing from mainly these two. But I might actually set up like a rattle reel in this hole. Anyway, stay tuned. I'm still trying to get all dialed. My phone is actually dead right now. That's why I'm shooting off my GoPro. If you guys probably didn't even know that, but now you do. Anyways, I'm gonna get all completely dialed. I'm gonna bring all the stuff in from the truck. You guys know the, you guys know the deal. We'll talk to you guys in a bit. Might as well get a minnow on this rattle reel. All right, fam, we are officially completely dialed we got the nice little table set up got my little charging station going we also got another charging station going over here we got the zivave down and just in case you guys are curious you guys have been asking this a lot lately and i kind of never share it with you guys but the rod i'm using in today's video this is the mav snare this is honestly like these are the best rods i've used in a couple years now like these things are badass and then paired with the mav snare we got the pc fun carbon x this is the reel that is on pretty much every single one of my ice rods besides for one and it's a carbon x inline series pretty sure this one is a 
1000 series and then i just got some seven pound braid to seven pound fluorocarbon if you guys are curious and want to check out any of that i will link it all down below and before we like officially get into fishing i want to give the biggest shout out to jr's corner access they're basically like the sponsor of today's video because without them i wouldn't be able to stay in this awesome house i'll link all their stuff down below also and if you guys have facebook definitely go like their page over there also anyways it's like four o'clock the sun is just about hitting the trees uh should be prime time soon here so i'm about to hang out and yeah hopefully catch some walleyes Oh, he hit it. He hit me. He's gonna do it. Yep. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, he's already in the hole. Woohoo! Sorry. I got excited, okay? I just switched that glow-in-the-dark tea flasher, what, two minutes ago? And shabang, the fish came in. You guys seen, I got the graph cam on for once. Came in, missed me, came back, did it good. And you know what? It's a pretty good eater, if you ask me, I think. I should probably measure it. Nose on the bump. About 15 and a quarter. Let's go. So <clears throat> I'm not actually going to be eating the walleyes tonight. We are going to probably eat those uh, like in the morning or tomorrow for lunch or something like that. Because we already got this from. We got this from the homie Blake from the last video in the Lake of the Woods video. It is a sloppy turkeys it's called. It's like you put it on a bun and it's, it's really good. So yeah, I'm going to be eating that tonight and I'm going to save the walleye. For tomorrow i'm just gonna make a little hole right here take my walleye and get this guy nice and bled out i'm just gonna you know i'm gonna cover up this hole in case he tries to get away but yeah there's my new live well or dead well <laughs> all right let's try to catch another fish Eat some food, dudes. I'm getting hungry. It's like dark out, too. Not marking much. Graph cam. It's got to go. Yeah. This is gonna suck. Oh my god, it's so freaking cold. Paper towel. Holy crap. Look at the sky. Wow, that's pretty. Okay. Wow, this smells insanely good. So I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Homie Blake said that this is like turkey breast with Velveeta with mayo and with like a couple other seasonings apparently it's like really easy to make but like seriously this stuff is fuego it's like so good my mouth's watering just cooking it once again biggest shout out to Blake only thing I wish I had was buns all I have is toast or er, about to be toast oh it smells good Ram? Hmm. And there you have it. A sloppy turkey. And I'm marking a fish. No way. I think my GoPro's on. Dude. 
It just dipped. No way. There is the sloppy turkey. It doesn't look like much, but I tell you what, it is delicious. Really smoky in here, too. Holy crap. <laughs> Looks like a scene from that 70s show in here. So good. got myself a little multi-functioning inverter sent to me from uh, Dakota Lithium and a couple you guys probably seen these in previous videos huge shout out to Dakota Lithium now I am able to not even need to go home anymore to edit videos I can just edit them while I make videos I'm about to take a little break from filming and uh, yeah I'm gonna hang out and edit a video for you guys that red reel just went off I got a buddy for ya. Hey, wrong way, bud. Alright, get this set back up. I'm gonna get right back to editing. Little time check. It is 11 o'clock p.m. and I think I am finally giving up on my edit for the night. I have been marking so many fish tonight, y'all. Like, no fooling. I've been marking, like, it's like every time I look over, I'm literally. I'm marking one right now. Right under my bait, there's a mark. And they're just being super finicky. They really remind me of, like, Mille Lacs Lake fish. Like, they come, they fly right up to you, sit on you, and then just disappear. It's super weird and super frustrating. But yeah, like I said, I'm about to retire from editing. I'm about to hit the lights and, I don't know, scroll on my phone for a little bit and probably pass out. I do have both rattle reels out, so, yeah, if one of them goes off in the middle of the night or something, I'm sure I will. Turn the camera on and show you guys. Stay tuned. Fuck you, word. Look at you. I am back in bed. I took off the jig put a bobber down everybody thinks that my bobbers are cigarette butts in my last video it's not a cigarette butt y'all anyways i am just chilling once again i've only marked one fish so far since i've woken up which usually means uh the bite's probably not gonna be too hot today if you don't you know if you don't catch them right away in the morning so pretty much banking on the evening bite once again freaking kind of hungry too I don't have any breakfast. I kind of forgot to bring breakfast. So, yeah, I might cook walleyes come, like, noon or something just to have a little lunch. Stay tuned! <laughs> Gonna need this. You guys haven't checked any of this out yet? Fish and More merch, link in bio, teespring.com slash fish and more. We just came out with four new designs that are pretty lit. Okay, back to cooking. Oh, yeah. Okay, first things first, I'm going to take our knife, our big knife. I'm using two knives for this one because I will show you why. Make that first incision there. Just going to follow up around kind of like the cheek area. And instead of like following the rib line, uh, I'm just like, since these are such small walleyes, I'm just going to use this big knife and 
cut right through the rib bones. Just like you would if you were using like an electric fly knife. Look at that. Same thing to this side. You better believe I'm taking those walleye wings too. I'm probably not gonna be taking the cheeks. They're pretty small. But these wings, we're cooking these. Yes, sir. Delicious. So now we're gonna take our smaller knife, as you can see. Uh, there's like bones and skin right here. We're just going to take this smaller knife and run it alongside of these bones and just pretty much cut this chunk out. But you definitely are trying to save like as much meat as possible. Oh yeah, not bad at all. And this is like pretty much belly meat right here. Cut that right out. Bang, not bad. Bang. All right, y'all. We're going to go ahead and finish up this other walleye. We'll talk to you guys on the next process. All right, y'all. We're going to try a new method. I got my tongs. I'm going to hold on really tight and try to do this with this. If you guys watched like any of my previous videos, you guys know this is like the worst part about catching cooks while ice camping is cleaning your flays in the hole. It gets so cold. how it feels. Not bad. Can definitely go a little bit more. Hey, that's, I think, I think we got something dialed here. Dude, that works really good. Heck yeah. Word of advice, don't try to use the tongs for the wings. I just dropped one and it sunk so fast I didn't have time to grab it. Good enough for now. We're gonna let this dry off for a little bit. And this has probably made it to the thumbnail by now. It's the first time I'm mentioning it because I just thought of it. This is what I'm gonna be using to bread my fish today. If you guys haven't tried Dots pretzels, it they are like honestly the most fire and addicting pretzels on the market i've also had like a thousand of you guys tell me to try this in the comments so yeah we're finally gonna do it we're going to need ourselves a baggie my, my baggie's gonna break i should double bag it <laughs> I'd say that's pretty decent. We're gonna get these fish back out and I'm about to chunk these guys up into pretty small chunks. Like no cap. Bet you this is gonna taste so good because it smells good. All right, once this grease is heated up, should be good to go. putting it all back in the bag just so I can go like this and get it you know, oh get it you know as coated as possible hmm? oh yeah buddy yeah buddy instantly this smells phenomenal it smells really good Tell you what, if this tastes as good as it smells, it's gonna be insane because it, it smells so good. Oh, yeah, a couple of these pieces are definitely done. The final product, it looks awesome. First bite. It tastes like chicken. <laughs> it's really good. Not fishy at all. It 
I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like... It almost tastes like cheesy, maybe, like Parmesan or something like that. It's really good. Let's give the wing a try. Dude, I'd totally do this again. Well, I'm about to absolutely crush this. I'll probably just talk to you guys once I'm done eating. That was so fuego, y'all. I just about ate the entire two walleyes. Dots! 10 out of 10. Highly recommend trying it. I could... I could eat fish that way all the time. It was bomb. If I had like some tartar sauce, you know what? I bet you on a fish sandwich, that would be so delicious. It would taste just like chicken. Put some lettuce, tomato, pickles, tartar sauce. Killer. Anyway, so y'all, I think we are going to end this video here. Uh, I am actually staying in this fish house for another night tonight, but in the morning, I am heading to uh, another lake to do some more camping for you guys. Actually, I'm doing something else with the camping. Hopefully, cross your fingers that we've like never targeted on this channel before. So hopefully that all goes well and you guys get to see it, but we're for sure gonna go do some more camping. And I've been kind of going pretty steady the past like seven, eight days in a row. I've made a video like every single day. So I think I might just, you know, hang out and chill for the rest of today and tonight. Once again, y'all, I do want to give the biggest shout out to JR's Corner Access for, uh, allowing me to keep on coming back to these sick fish houses and making these videos for you guys. I'm pretty pumped that I found out about their showers up at the bar. I'm definitely gonna go rip another one of those before my next trip tomorrow morning. But yeah, dope bar, dope fish houses, dope people, and it's just always an awesome time here. If you haven't yet, go check out the new Fish and More merch. Link in description. We came out with four new designs that are freaking lit and they're really cheap y'all i'm selling them for 30 dollars. i'm pretty much not making anything on them like on god and they're like super nice quality so don't let the price fool you right now i just don't really care much about making money on the merch i'd just rather seeing you guys you know repping the fish and more brand anyways y'all i think that is it if you enjoyed this video do me a favor smash that subscribe button if you want to see more and if you already did that stay tuned for next video Peace.